Bring your mind in harmony with the body. Where is your body right now? Where is your breath right now? Try to bring the two of them together. Bring them into alignment. So you can have some peace. When they're out of alignment, there's no peace. It's like a wheel that's out of alignment. You drive down the road and this shakes up the car. And it's bad for the wheel, bad for the tires, bad for the car as a whole. And there's no real peace or comfort in the car. When things are harmonious, then there's a lot of comfort, a lot of ease. And as the Buddha said, there is no happiness aside from peace. So look into your mind. Make sure that it's at peace with the body. Try to find a way of breathing that feels just right all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. Try not to squeeze the breath too much. At the same time, don't let it be too loose. The image in the canon is of a man holding a baby quail. If you hold it too tightly, the quail dies. If you hold it too loosely, it flies away. So try to find the right amount of pressure. What feels just right, right now. So that as you're focusing on the body, you're not pushing the breath nor the blood out of the way. Everything is allowed to flow naturally. In other words, you're listening to the needs of the body and adjusting yourself to those needs. And then when you do, it will provide you with a good place to stay. As the Buddha said, it's like harmony outside. When there's harmony outside, there's a sense of joy. When there's joy, the mind can settle down with a sense of well-being. It's one of the ways in which you can induce concentration, is through harmony, both inside and out. So keep that in mind while you're meditating and while you're away from meditation. That harmony brings peace. Peace brings a sense of joy. And joy allows the mind to settle down. You don't have to fight to struggle to get the mind down. It settles down naturally when there's a sense of well-being. So do what you can to create peace and harmony, both inside and out. That's the same as getting to know your breath. You don't just simply demand that other people follow the way you do things. You listen to their needs. And wherever it's not against the Vinny, okay, you go along. That way there's more peace and harmony in the community. And then when you sit down to meditate, everybody's at peace too. So learn to be at peace inside. A lot of times the reason there's disharmony outside is because we're not at har in harmony with ourselves. So work on both ends. Work from the inside out, work from the outside in. Now we are living together in a community is going to be conducive to everybody's con concentration, everybody's discernment, and hopefully everybody's release.